Christie's are delighted to offer this superb collection of magnificent French furniture and works of art. The collection, assembled with intelligence and passion, reflects the great heights achieved in the decorative arts in France in the 18th century, and particularly the opulence of court taste. It's especially strong in pieces associated with the royal family and their circle, and it's remarkable to have so many pieces with an established 18th century provenance. This magnificent bureau plat, to me, represents a landmark in the evolution of French taste in the 18th century. It was made by a completely brilliant sculptor called Charles Cresson. It has this extraordinary integration of the gilt bronze, beautifully chased mounts with these extraordinary espagnolette masks with their tête bouclée, with this fantastic curly hair and these sinuous pearl earrings hanging down and this very, very beautiful profile and line of the legs, which is all important. It is one of the most ambitious works that he ever executed. In fact, there are only three bureau plows of this scale, and the direct pair is the one that is in the Louvre today. I think it is unprecedented to have a bureau plow of this caliber and scale by Cresson on the market. For me, the most incredible piece is the beautifully carved bergère that was made for Marie Antoinette in 1781. It started off with paper designs by Gondois, which were then transformed into a wonderful little scale model. The model still exists today remarkably and is in the Louvre. But this is the only surviving armchair of the suite, and it's fascinating to not only know that it was made for the Queen, but to see how much care the designers took to make her happy. It's incredibly rare that such a fantastic piece of furniture should come onto the market. We hope that it will excite many collectors and institutions. This clock was made around 1770 by Jean-Michel Mabille, and the sphere was made by a specialist called Martin Baffer for the Prince de Conti, Louis-François de Bourbon, a prince of the royal blood. It's an amazing tour de force of technological and horological complexity. The sphere details the movement of the planets around the sun. The clock itself is also extraordinarily complex. And on the reverse, it has an automaton dial which shows the phases of the moon as they progress through the month. This combines incredible craftsmanship, technological complexity, and a princely provenance. It really has everything for a connoisseur collector. This Chinese vase of baluster shape decorated with a very rare blue and red speckled painted decoration so the porcelain was made in China and exported to France under the direction of a marchand mercier. Goldsmiths or bronziers would mount them with precious gilt bronze mounts and create a new work of art. It is a very sophisticated design using very precious materials, both old and new. It's the essence of the 18th century in one object. These pieces encapsulate the spirit of collecting, as so many of them have also belonged to some of the most celebrated 19th and 20th century collections. The splendid furniture, the superb ormolu mounted porcelain, the works of art vividly demonstrate the romance and the excitement of collecting.